Hey guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. I want to start off by apologizing. Um, I know that in my last video I had said I would um, show the next steps of doing the ephemera and everything for this journal. However, um, I had a really rough night of sleep. Actually, I had no sleep. Um, so I ended up, I was up in the middle of the night and I just started working on the journal and I didn't turn on the camera because my family was sleeping and I didn't want to talk and uh, wake them up. So the journal is finished um, and uh, we'll do a flip through of it. Uh, if you were one of the people who I'm pretty sure I could hear yelling, don't put the lace on the spine of the journal, you'll be happy to know. I didn't, I decided to leave it. Um, as is as an exposed um, spine and I'm so happy that I didn't put the lace on. I think it looks so cute. So let's do a flip through. This is not like my other journals. I really wanted the story to be the main focus of this journal um, as well as the photos and then to have places for you to write and, and tuck in your own memories. So it's not as decorated as I normally do. Um, also with these types of journals, when you're doing theme journals, especially about, about people, it's really hard to create ephemera um, that kind of fits with it. So um, I've really left it quite, um, just kind of quite bare. So you definitely have room to add your own things. Um, there's definitely room for this bad boy to expand. So let's go ahead and do our flip through of it. So again, we've got the front where we've uh, added our two inch spine. We put on the little uh, golden book, um, whatever you call the spine, um, on the right hand side. We took it off the edge. Okay, so when you first open up, you have this beautiful picture of Betty. Um, I think that the colors go uh, really well with the colors on this page, and I just think it was nice to start off a photo of her. Um, just, just a beautiful, stunning photo of her. Okay. Um, in every one of my journals, I do give out a uh, letter from the journal maker, and so this is my letter uh, to the recipient from the journal maker. I have added these little tabs to each one of the actual book pages so that if you just wanted to read the story you can go ahead and just quickly find the tabs and read the story as is. Although I see I have some stuck here so we'll have to figure that out when we go along. Okay so our first page um, we've got a book a page from the story um, just a photo of uh, Betty when she was younger. I just think it's such a, a beautiful photo of her. And hopefully I'm in frame here. Lots of places for you to write. Again, we have those uh, historic pages that um, you can kind of figure out what was going on during that time uh, when it mentions the dates in the story. Another book page. Uh, here I created uh, just a pocket. Again, I haven't put anything in the pocket. That's for you to add. Um, there is a little hidden pocket uh, behind this photo, so you can definitely, um, I don't know if I have anything here, um, you can definitely tuck something inside. I just have a piece of paper here, but you can tuck behind that photo a little something, and then of course in there. Okay. Some pages from the People magazine for her 100th birthday. Just doing a really quick flip through of this. Some of that beautiful lace uh, paper, I believe that was from my porch prints. Again, hot dogs, because Betty loved hot dogs. Again, this is just meant to be a really fun journal. Um, uh, this is one of uh, the quotes uh, I have here from her. It says, why do people say grow some balls? Balls are weak and sensitive. If you want to be tough, grow a vagina. Those things can take a pounding. Um, and this fun photo of her, which is also a little tuck spot. Um, I just love some of the quotes that uh, Betty had, so I've included some of them uh, throughout this journal. Again, we have the middle of the first signature where we have the crossword. I didn't find any Scrabble tiles like I had wanted to, but that's okay. Um, again, I didn't want to overwhelm it with things. Uh, just have a little uh, angel kind of little charm here. Again, lots of place to write. I didn't want to, um, you can take this off as well um, if you want to write on these pages or if you 
you can use a board. Um, but yeah, lots of places to write. I just kind of kept this really, really blank and neutral on here. Um, another little tuck spot. Um, here I did add uh, a postcard that I had in my stash um, just of the time. Um, this fun television set, so I thought that worked well for this time. But really, there is not a lot of uh, ephemera added to it, just lots of uh, pockets and kind of tuck spots. Okay, moving on, I do have a little tag that I clipped in here, and it's got a really fun um, kind of little brad on the back here, or on the front it says playful, I thought that was fun, and just some pearls, journaling spot on the back, and that's just clipped in with a paper clip. Again, you can put this in one of the pockets if you want, I just thought it was fun to kind of do it this way. More pages from the book. Some lace on some of the sides of the pages and then that brings us to the end of the first signature I did do um, on some of the white pages some um, stenciling and I used this um, Chow Bella stencil that I got from uh, the Scrap and Dippity store in South Calgary and uh, this is one of my new purchases it's really great I love it it's called Flourish okay. At the beginning of the second signature, um, a beautiful, beautiful photo of uh, Betty and another fun quote. It says, get at least eight hours of beauty sleep. Nine if you're ugly. <laughs> Just, she cracks me up. That's more of that flourish there. And this one, I'm just going to, there we go. I've got, uh, this is, is that Arthur Miller? Yeah, Arthur. I just love love the story. I just I think that's my favorite part about this whole whole thing is the story of it. So I'm not sure why that's there. It shouldn't be there. Um, here I do have um, almost like a big journaling card, so you can remove this and journal on the back. It's just held in with these kind of vintage photo corners. I thought that was fun. Just such a beautiful beautiful photo of her. Again, some more lace on some of the pages, just to add some interest. So 1963 um, is when Alan Ludden and Betty White got married. Um, this is just stuck on there, it's not a pocket or anything, it's just a, a photograph. Here we have a fun pocket. It, in this part of the story it's talking about her winning um, her Emmys and so this is a photo of her with one of her Emmys winning it and it's got some extra writing space and it's a tech spot. And uh, I've been playing around with the book quite a bit so you can remove these little tabs if you don't want them on there. I just thought it was a fun way to um, kind of find the story quite quite easily. more of that stenciling. Um, of course, a photo of Betty with her dogs. Again, this is just a photograph on there. It's not a tech spot or anything. That fun drink page. Again, I just the bright colors and the, the whimsy of it just kind of really reminds me of, of Betty, how much fun she was. Again, more lots of spots to write. And then we have the center of this signature. Uh, here we have um, a little SPCA, oops, sorry, my camera's uh, shaking because people are walking or running around upstairs. Um, so this is uh, just a little SPCA kind of, um, there's an old keychain, so just kind of like a little charm in the book. Again, you can take that out. Um, another fun quote, I have no regrets at all, none. I consider myself to be the luckiest broad on two feet. So I'm really excited to be able to have this journal done in time for her birthday and so that I can post it. It will be up on Etsy and again, um, all the proceeds of this journal uh, will go to um, uh, a foundation here in Calgary. It's actually going to go to um, ARF, the Animal Rescue Foundation, in Betty's name. 
Um, I really loved how they did this illustration of Betty when she was on Saturday Night Live. It is so good that I actually I have a photo on the next page of her wearing that exact outfit and they did such a good job of um, illustrating that I thought. I had another quote from here um, this is actually what she said on Saturday Night Live and it's people say but Betty Facebook is a great way to connect with old friends well at my age if you want to connect with old friends if I want to connect with old friends I need a Ouija board I just thought that was funny she's classic classic again lots of place to write um, here just another little text spot again Betty with uh, Coco her and Coco had a really special relationship we used to call her lipstick that uh, was the sign that uh, Coco did was lipstick whenever Betty was around so much fun and then we're coming to close here to the end of this last signature Again, just lots of places to write. Um, another fun, just kind of tag here, um, Betty with a bow constrictor around her neck. And I just thought that animal print, you, you know, it matched kind of here as well as, uh, um, you know, the fact that she loves animals. I just thought that was kind of fun. And then it has um, drilling spots on the back of that tag. And then the end of the story, and then just on the back, I just have a, a photo of her at the end. So again, I do apologize. I didn't take you for the ride on making the ephemera. Um, again, it's really, really simple. Um, but I just, I wanted the story and the photos really just to shine in it um, and let the recipient just really add to it whatever they want. Um, so I just think it's a lot of fun. And again, I'm just so glad that I got it done in time for her 100th birthday, which is tomorrow. So this will be going up on Etsy. Um, so I will leave the link down below for that. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys, for this flip through. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, I just have yourself a wonderful day and we'll catch you in the next video. P.S. I love you. Hey guys, I would love to do a snail mail swap with you. So go ahead, check out my address there. Send me some of your creations. I'd love to feature them on my YouTube channel. And I'd love to send you a little something back. Let's spread the crafty love with each other. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Even better, send me a comment. I'd love to know what you have to say. Thanks again, guys. And P.S. I love you.